This is a little update on uh, some work I've been doing on the Pi Netbooter web interface. Um, the one I was using, uh, it was based on some code written by devtty0. Um, pretty good, um, really, really useful. Um, but it's a little bit, it was a little bit basic. Um, and some of the functionality I thought could do with a bit of expanding. So this is what I've um, been working on. So it's a um, nice kind of HTML5 wrapped uh, web page, dynamic menu, um, everything scales. So yeah, everything's nicely scalable. And it also, um, the menu shrinks down to a little little box on a mobile device as well. Yeah. Makes it easier to use. Um, the logo up here just always brings you back to the game list, which is a, it's wherever you are. And also that, that top menu bar is pinned as well. That's, you've, always, you've always got actually, um, access to the, the various different options you want to use. Um, I pulled all the latest images from um, Hyperspin. That's what I'm using for these. Um, this game menu itself has got a couple of different modes. So by default, it's running in uh, advanced mode. So if I click on that, it takes me to another page. Now I've also pulled in a lot of the game metadata as well from the, um, the Hyperspin XML files uh, and import it here. So you can you can see what kind of what, what kind of game it is, um, what kind of controls you need, screen orientation, that kind of stuff. So it helps you decide on what games you want to have displayed on your game list and which ones you can play on your cabinet. Um, there's a link there just to launch the game. And there's also, I've uh, included video previews as well. So there you go. And all this works on a mobile device as well. Again, these are all from like Union Movies and uh, I've managed to get one for pretty much every game. If one doesn't exist, so if we go back here, the club card doesn't have one. It just displays the, um, the Hyperspin wheel logo there. Uh, right, so moving on to the options. So we've got menu mode, advanced and simple. Um, these these toggle switches down here will change the modes. <clears throat> so the menu mode advanced has the has the extra game information and a video. Uh, the simple mode just has the classic. If you click on the link, it will launch the game. Uh, the power mode always on. You can also switch to ten minutes auto power off. Um, multi boot mode and single boot mode. Um, this is where it it takes the last game loaded here. Um, I haven't actually. I don't get any games on this card image yet, so there's nothing in there. <clears throat> but it always keeps a, a log of the last the last one that you loaded. It will sort of, it'll, it'll show it here. So if you ever want to switch to single boot mode, you'll be able to see what game will boot next time you, you restart your machine. Um, right, okay. We've also got this um, nifty little feature, edit game list. So all the, all the game information is stored in a CSV file, um, which is part of um, the latest uh, dev TTY0 release 1.2. Uh, he's dropped onto the boot the boot partition now, which makes it very easy to get hold of and edit game game data. But I thought, wouldn't it be good if you could actually edit your game list live within this little um, console? So when the machine starts up, it copies the CSV file um, into, into the file system where we can make changes to it. And uh, you can edit game list. So this pulls in the data from the CSV file. This pulls in three three columns. There's, there's way more columns than this, but this pulls in the stuff that you need. So uh, in here, say I wanted to Say I've, I've got the ROMs loaded on my Pi, on, on my SD card. I've loaded all the ROMs from wherever you get ROMs from. Um, don't ask me, I wouldn't know. <coughs> uh, and it just shows the ones that are loaded on your card. So here you can dynamically disable those. Go back to the game list. And lo and behold, you've now only got two games in there. So it's kind of handy if you want to load everything on there, but you don't want to show everything at once. And you can go back in and edit that. And we enable those. Oops. There we go. Yep. So back to game list. And they're all back again. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, the card emulator. So I've been, I don't know if you saw my other video. I've been working on the card emulation script. They're all, what, what the, I've got the initial D1s working really well because I've got an initial D cabinet. I, push, I can't test the others, but in theory, this, this should work the same way. So we've launched on the card emulator. You've got the various different modes. These are all the different scripts that uh, have been produced so far. So we've got Initial D2, 3, Manga Midnight on Chihiro, and Mario Kart GP and GP2 and F0AX for the Triforce. Um, 
this works the same way as before so you click on there you can um, it'll display if I didn't have any cards they would be displayed here they're basically just files in a folder on the on the um, on the Pi file system if you wanted to create a new card you can just uh, you can just over type that uh, type in a new card name hit submit it would go off from the script create the new card for you uh, and that is pretty much as far as I have got um, been working quite hard all week on this it's been it's coming really nicely I think it's a it's a, a lot more feature rich and uh, user friendly than it used to be I've just got a shutdown link perma permalink on there help I haven't I haven't actually created a help file yet but I was just going to do a, a very basic walk through the different options and um, the different modes that you can run it in um, and if you can think of any more um, please get in touch with me on the forums I'll be happy to um, to include them for you okay thanks <laughs>